thank you for coming. I will try to give only a brief, a short explanation so we don't stay too long and then you will have the opportunity to ask questions about matters which you are not clear about. The problem that we are trying to solve is a claim that Guatemala has on the lease. Guatemala is claiming that there is no border between Guatemala and Belize and that Belize belongs to Guatemala. Alright, and that there are no border, there is no border between the two countries. Those of you who have this paper, this paper shows Guatemala. This is Guatemala over here. And this is Belize over this side. You see, Guatemala is much bigger than Belize. But Guatemala, Belize, Pero Guatemala y Belize. Honduras, Honduras, El Salvador, Salvador Nicaragua, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Costa Rica, were all part of Spain at one time. The people from Spain came across the Belize 500 years ago. And when they arrived in Belize, the Pope, the Pope in Rome, Give to Spain all of this part of the world. El Papa in Roma dio toda esta parte del mundo a España. And so the Spaniards y fue así como los españoles started to take the gold and silver that was in these parts of the world. They took it back to Spain and Europe. All right? But the Spaniards did not stay in Belize. At no time did they stay in Belize because Belize had no gold. Porque en Belize no había oro. Had no silver. No tenía plata. It was very low and it was very dangerous. Y era muy peligroso. Because there were plenty of mosquitoes. Porque había bastantes mosquitos. And when they bite them, y when they bit the Europeans, they get fever. Ellos les daba fiebre. And they would die. But in Honduras, Pero en Honduras, or in Guatemala, o en Guatemala, or in Mexico, o en México, there are high mountains. There are no mosquitoes in the mountains, in, but there is gold and silver. Pero si hay oro y plata. And for that reason, the Spaniards who were only interested in gold and silver stayed in the higher countries. It is for that reason that the people who are in charge of all the Central American countries because they all came from Spain. When they came from Spain, they found indigenous people as well. Cuando ellos vinieron de España, encontraron a gente indígena también. And it is for that reason. Y es por esa misma razón. And in all these countries, you have indigenous people. All right? The indigenous people are usually the poorer people. And the Europeans are the wealthy people. But at no time did they Spaniards stay in Belize. And it is for that reason that most people in Belize speak English and not Spanish. Alright? The British also wanted to get rich from the resources that was in this part of the world. And they were angry because the Pope gave this part of the world to Spain. And so the British sailors, the British sailors would come from England in their boats. And when the Spanish boats were carrying the gold and silver to Spain, to Spain A España. the British would attack them and would steal y les robaban. the silver and the gold. And when the Spanish chased them, they would come and hide in the waters of Belize. Because the waters of Belize are very shallow and there are many keys. So it was difficult for big ships to come in. Even now today it's difficult for big ships to come close to Belize. All right? So after maybe 300 years, the exploitation of the gold and silver was no longer profitable. And the Spanish Buccaneers and pirates who used to attack the, the English pirates and buccaneers who used to attack the Spanish ship. 
they began to cut lagood that grows all over this part of the world. And the lagood was used to dye clothes. Yes. So they would cut the lagood, put them on big ships and take them to Europe to make dyes so that they have all these pretty colors and not only white. When the lagood got scared, they started to cut mahogany. That is in the 1800s. And it was at that time that they brought black African slaves to Belize to cut the trees in the forest because it was believed that the black African slaves were stronger and harder. They could survive living in this swampy area with the mosquitoes. Colors mosquitoes. That's how my ancestors came to Belize and they cut the mahogany. They were, of course, working for the British. And the British started cutting the mahogany all the way up in the Piten. Go to way up to the Piten. No, they started not the Piten, I'm sorry. And the and Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico. Up in the Yucatan Peninsula. Way up to the top. Hasta lo alto. Yes, in the north. In the north. And they came from the north down to the south. So if you notice, this part of Belize, the top of Belize here, is in territory that was formerly Mexican. This is part of the Yucatan Peninsula. So a lot of people drive, Belizeans drive from Belize, and we go to Chetamal, and then we go to Cancun, or we go to Merida. And Cancun and Merida are on the Yucatan Peninsula. So this north part of Belize, the north part is really Mexican territory. Originally, and this part here, the south and the west, the south the and the west, the was the other section that used to be administered by Guatemala. So the Spanish government used to control the whole of this area, but they had their main offices, one in Guatemala, Guatemala City, and one in Mexico. You know, in Mexico. Because the British and the slaves started moving all over the territory. At the beginning, the Spanish government had agreed with the British government that they could do it. But after a time, Pero de un tiempo, the people who were occupying the land, the British and the slaves who were occupying the land, they no longer agreed to be bound by the agreement with Spain. And so the Spaniards tried to get them off, attack them from time to time. Yes. The last time the Spaniards attacked the Bayman, the Belizeans and the British in the year 1798. And when the Spanish um, came, they came from Mexico and they were defeated by the set. The, 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 the Spanish Navy was defeated. The Spaniards no longer tried to get the slaves off. And the British and the English and the and the slaves treated this part of the world as their own. All right, Guatemala, who was a colony of Spain, all the other Central American countries, El Salvador, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Guatemala, they revolted from Spain in 1821. In 1821, they revolted. They said they no longer want to belong to Spain. And Spain did not recognize Guatemala as an independent country until 1863. So, what is important to know is that Spain recognized that the British and the Women slaves controlled this area from 1798. From 1798. And Spain only recognized Guatemala as a separate country almost a hundred years later. Because it was not until 1863 that it recognized Guatemala as an independent country. Understand? Now then, this. The Bayman and the slaves, as I said, moved from up in the Yucatan Peninsula, went down south, and then they were going west. Always looking for more mahogany. Because mahogany was very, very important. 
and Guatemala. Y Guatemala. After it revolted from Spain, got very nervous because the English were going more and more to the west. And they begged the British to please establish where the border was between the two. And so in 1859, the Guatemalans and the British signed a treaty in which they agreed that the border between Guatemala and Belize would be this line here. Also, it would be the middle channel of the main channel of the Sarstone River. The Sarstone River runs into Guatemala. Okay? So it is that is how Belize and Guatemala came to have this border. The British government also entered into a treaty with Mexico to establish the border between Belize and Mexico. That is the border that goes from here to here. That was agreed in the treaty of 1893. So we have two treaties, 1859 between Belize, the United Kingdom and Guatemala, and then the other one was between the British and the Mexican. That deals with this top part. Okay? This document here, Stuff is from the Spanish. We have to get some for you later on. This document here is the agreement which was signed between the British and the Guatemalans when they agreed on the treaty. All right. And in this document here, in addition to agreed to the border, it also said in Article 7 that the British and the Guatemalans would try to establish a means of communication between Guatemala City and Belize to facilitate trade. Just make trade easy. Neither the British nor the Guatemalans did carry this out. And because of that, y por esa razón, in 1939, en many years after the treaty was signed, the Guatemalans claimed that they no longer want to be bound by the treaty. They said that this Clause 7 was not agreed to. And in 1945, they put in their constitution, Ellos pusieron en su constitución that Belize is there. And they started to teach their children that Belize was there. When they did that, in 1939, the British told them, go to court, go to the ICJ, if you believe that there is a breach of this treaty. But they refused to go. They refused to go. And in 1948, they threatened to invade Belize, threatened to invade Belize. And that was the year that the British government yes, these two big ships to protect Belize. Alright? And they sent their soldiers. And the British soldiers y los soldados ingleses remained in Belize until 1991, after we got our independence. And up to today, we still have a small continent to protect Belize. Que proteja Belize. The Guatemalans refused to... to um, as I said, later on in the 1970s, Guatemala also threatened to invade Belize again. Guatemala volvió in 1977-78. And at that time, the British sent this big ship. The ship has many big, many big and many planes. Uh, and so they were prepared to fight with Guatemala. Guatemalans also prepared to invade Belize. This is their uh, force. So, it was a very dangerous time, but the Guatemala has never did. In the 1970s and 80s, Belizean politicians went to the United Nations, and the entire United Nations, except Guatemala and Israel, said that Belize belonged to Belizeans, that Belize should get all independence with all its territory intact and so on the 21st of September 1981 Belize got its independence from England but Guatemala still did not recognize until 1992 
when it recognized Belize as a separate independent nation, we exchanged ambassadors. But when we went to the United Nations, the United Nations told us we will get independence. Cuando fuimos a las Naciones Unidas, and after independence, Belize and Guatemala should try to settle the claim. Guatemala did not want to agree. So any proposal, we tried several times, many ways to try to get them to agree to settle it, but they did not want to settle it. Then finally, y finalmente, in 2008, en 2008, they agreed to go to court. Ellos estuvieron de acuerdo de ir a corte. And the government agreed in 2008, and in 2018, April of 2018, Y en el abril de 2018, the people of Guatemala in a referendum, la gente de Guatemala por medio de un referendum, agreed to go to court as well. And in 2008, y en el 2008, the government of Belize agreed, to, but we can't go to court. Porque la gente de Belize también llega al acuerdo de ir a court. And it's for that reason that on the 10th of April, y es por esa razón que el 10 de abril we will have a referendum a... and the people of Belize will decide, y la gente de Belize va a decidir if they want to have the matter settled at the end. Alright? Now if we say yes, si decimos, sí, we will go to court. Vamos ir a la corte. And we have studied very carefully what can happen to Belize if we go to court. Y and all the lawyers we have talked to and all the lawyers that the Guatemalans have talked to y todos los abogados que los de Guatemala han hablado, have told us nos han dicho, that these borders can never change. They cannot be changed no, because they were agreed to by two countries freely. Por, and you cannot break treaties dealing with borders. Y no se pueden romper los tratados que tienen que ver con las fronteras. Because it is going to bring chaos in the world. People have to be bound, just like all people have to be bound by their contract, nations have to be bound by contract. En fronteras, por ese contrato. So, we are confident Así que nosotros estamos that we will not lose any part of Belize. Con the Guatemalans los guatemaltecos know that they can't get any of Belize and they have said that y ellos lo han dicho. but they cannot end the claim Pero ellos no pueden parar el reclamo by any decision made by the politicians para, por alguna decisión hecha por los políticos. because their people will call them traitors their people will call them traitors Porque la gente, el pueblo, los va a llamar como traidores traidores because they have been teaching their people from 1945 that Belize belong to them. So they are in a difficult position. They need some other person or organization to tell the Guatemalan people that Belize is not for them. And it's for that reason that they want, they don't mind going to court. Now then, if we go to court and we settle the matter, we are going to live in good peace and harmony with Guatemala. Vamos a vivir de una buena manera en paz y armonía con Guatemala. In the same way in which we live in peace and harmony with Mexico. Así. Already, Belize and Guatemala, the people of Belize and Guatemala have a very good relationship. Yes. Almost one half of the Garifuna population live in Belize and the next half live in Guatemala. Almost one half of the indigenous people of Belize live in Belize and the other half live in Guatemala. Many Belizean people are married to Guatemala. Many Belizean people like to go to Guatemala to shop. Most of the things that the Mennonites produce and our farmers produce, we sell it to Guatemala. Because it's cheaper to just drive across the border es más, es, and get it. Es más and also, every school day, we have Guatemalan children coming across the Belize to get educated. And down south in Halakte. Alright? 
and, and bacon. Yes, bacon. So we live in peace with Guatemala, but we can live better if we are able to mark our boundaries clearly. Right now we can't mark it because of the dispute. But if we are able to mark our boundaries clearly, both the land boundaries and the sea boundaries, we will live better with Guatemala. We will live better. Vamos a vivir mejor. Now then, if we don't go to the court, si. we'll have trouble forever with Guatemala. Because if they believe that there is no border between us and them, they think that we are afraid to go to court because we don't believe we have a border. Yeah. That April 10th, Después del 10 de abril, we will certainly have problem with people coming across. We already have big problems coming across, but after April 10th, there will come more if we don't go to court. If we don't have a border on the sea, if our border is not agreed on the sea, we will also have problems because when our fisher folk go out there to fish, they may well find Guatemalans in waters that they consider to be ours. But if we don't have a clear border, we can't establish that the waters are ours. See? This map here shows the all the all the frontiers of the countries in the region, all the borders. And the thick red line deals with established borders. But the serrated line, the one that is jagged, that is not established. And if you notice, in the case of Belize, Belize have no thick red line. So we have to get that solid. And the only way we can do that is to go to that When we get a decision from the court, Guatemala has to abide by it. If they don't abide by it, we can go to the Security Council of the United Nations. The Security Council will compel them to abide by it. When we go to the ICJ, and we get a decision from the court, clearly mark our borders, okay. just like how it is clearly marked here, clearly okay. mark it. And then you don't have the Guatemalan peasants not knowing where Belize is and where Guatemala is. Because right now if you go there, you don't know, you don't see anything on the ground. Just like the top of this, you don't know where Guatemala begins and where Belize begins. But once we get a decision from the court, the court will help us to mark the borders, open it, clear it, so that it is clear. Right now we can't do that. We can't do it on our own because we have to mark borders in, in association with the neighbor. This matter, finally, finally, this matter is a national matter. It's not a political matter, it's a national matter. And almost every country in the world has a problem with borders. And certainly all the Central American countries and the South American countries have problems with borders. And the way you solve it is by going to the court. Last week, here in Belize, sí. Prime Minister Barrow of the UDP, del UDP and former Prime Minister Musa of the PUP, almost all the other foreign ministers of Belize, former foreign ministers, they all signed this document, this declaration. Ellos, and in this declaration, y en esta declaración, they agree ellos están de acuerdo. that the only way to solve the claim is to go to court. That is the simplest way and the safest way. Now I will end by saying this. For people like those of you who come from the rest of Central America, you understand how important it is to live in peace. You don't understand how terrible war is. So you would not want to do anything that could cause war. For those of us who live in Belize, we have never seen war. We don't know what war is. We don't know how terrible it is. And sometimes we don't understand the consequences of action that we take. So we may not appreciate how important it is for us to go and vote. Settle this matter peacefully. It is the most important thing we can do in our life. Both to settle it peacefully. There was a country named Palestine. In 1948, the Palestinians owned all this land. And in 1948, the United Nations divided it up 
against the will of the Palestinians. He gave the Israelis 56% of this land. He left the poor Palestinians with 44%. Of course, the Palestinians were angry and they fought. Fought in the 1950s and 1960s. Today, the Palestinians only own 10% of the land. Millions of Palestinians were chased off the land. And now they are, and the rest who remain there today are living in a big open jail. Go anywhere. They can't even go out in the sea. Because the Israelis blockade the sea as well as the land. They live in an open jail in a situation of apartheid. That is what happens when you have border disputes and you can't settle it peacefully. So that basically is the information that I want to give you today. This is a book in English, very simple, explains all the reasons why we should go to the court. Well, that is what I had to say to you. And now I will be happy to answer any question. Good morning. Uh, this is Miley May Shop for the Kids at Seven Hands. Mm -hmm. Um, Mr. Sadi, that was a nice man, and in the kind of days, I work here too, and everything. So. And so I cater for the kids. Mm -hmm. For the kids, I everything. So. Okay. That's my view. All right then. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Uh.